Right, we're live. At five. Let's make sure you can see what we're doing. There you go. Um, whoa. Okay, guys, welcome back to Robertson Co. Welcome back to London. Live at five, early. We're having a little melt up. I need some nine carat uh, white gold for a job. So I've got some uh, nine carat white gold in there, in this crucible, and a little bit of uh, borax flux. Got a tiny little um, graphite ingot mold there on the go. So we're gonna heat this, heat the mold up, melt the gold, pour it into the ingot. That's the plan. Using a Smith's little torch for that. It's absolutely freezing as well. That's why I'm doing that this morning. It's freezing in here. So this should warm things up. So I um, thought do this uh, live. I'll probably turn the light off while I'm um, melting the gold and then we'll turn it back on and pour it so I can see what I'm actually doing. That noise is the oxygen generator. That looks like it's going to blow out. Turn the gas down a little bit. Better. It's good to get a little bit of soot with that um, with the the lack of oxygen it produces quite a dirty sooty flame and that layer of soot on the ingot mold helps release the gold once it's um, we probably could melt this straight this small amount straight in this crucible it's getting red hot look at that it's red hot already It should be pretty quick because it's quite a small amount of gold, it's just a few grams in here. This crucible's got a crack in it, but they all kind of crack. This one's got a crack in it, but um, hopefully that will fill with flux. And not get worse. It's going to be a really small ingot. You know what, now it's melted, I'm going to turn the light on. I can actually see the ingot, mould. I just want some of the residual heat to um, just make sure the ingot mold's nice and hot. Good 
because it's so small and graphite, it actually won't take too much to get the thing red hot. The only thing with um, making ingots like this tiny amount of gold, it's really hard to clean them. You end up hitting your fingers with the hammer, not the, uh, the ingot. So yeah, small ingots like this are quite a challenge to process initially. Right, that should be hot enough to pour. So hot, it's actually molten in the. Um, oh, that's still molten. Right, I'm just going to reduce the oxygen on that so that. Um, There's no oxygen there at the minute. Hopefully that'll cool down nicely. That looks like a ball rather than an ingot. A ball of gold. That should be solid. And will that pop out? Yeah, look at that. I'm not gonna pick that up. I'm gonna let that air cool. That is going to be a nightmare to hit with a hammer. <laughs> but uh, we'll get it done. I might just put that in the flat and press and smack it that way. Uh, more like a bead of gold than... Uh... How's that even look? Looking good. But yeah. Right, while I'm going to do that, I'm going to let that air cool. Once that's cooled down, I'll then anneal it quench it. I do actually need to put some fresh water in there. That's looking a little bit acidic. Um, I'll nearly, I like, uh, the um, opinions are divided as to whether you should at this point quench it or um, let it air cool. So I do kind of do both. I kind of pick them because people don't really seem to know. Um, I let it air cool, then I'll reheat it and, nearly, and up to a reasonable temperature and nearly it. Don't want to get too hot, but uh, you know, I'll effectively then anneal it. So I do both, air cool and anneal, quench. So that's it, a little ball of um, white gold. Ready to turn it into some fabulous stuff. Right, I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.